Minister for Justice, Immigration, and National Security, has stated the government of Dominica and the Dominica State College are in discussions to begin offering modules for inmates at the Dominica State Prison. Raymond Blackmore made this disclosure during his presentation in Parliament earlier this week. Some negotiation with the State College so that we can develop modules in vocational skills so that the young men having left the prison setting would have gotten a skill to help them to make a contribution towards mainstream society. That is what we are all about, Madam Speaker. And in closing, Madam Speaker, permit me to thank the Cabinet and the Prime Minister for... Blackmore applauded the management of the prison, the Ministry of Social Services, and the Ministry of Education for allowing a number of inmates to sit the Caribbean Examination Council's examinations. The inmates who wrote the exam on Tuesday, May 9th, range from age 18 to 25. Examination at the English level, Madam Speaker. Because throughout my professional um, um, studies, every halfway house I went to in Canada, or prison, prison setting, every study will show that at least 30% of any prison population those persons are not hardcore criminals. So therefore, we have to place more emphasis on correction and, re and rehabilitation. We, also, we have to also ensure, Madam Speaker, because we are making money, pro providing money in this measure, Madam Speaker, to improve on the security block. Because Blackmore also added that money will be provided to enhance the security block at the Dominica State Prison. Something we have to ensure that the prison setting is at least humane. That is what we're doing. That's an A plus, that cannot be an F, Madam Speaker. And to say further, that as we speak, monies have been made available for a buffer zone within the prison system. The Minister for Justice stated the importance of the buffer zone is to ensure that persons do not stay outside the prison zone and throw in drugs, among other things.